do a quick audio check. Some overlay on, give me a second. Make sure I can hear myself. Mic monitoring, check, check, check. One, two, one, two. I don't know if my headset is working. Um, let's do that. All right, that's funny. That's hella goofy. Uh, give me one second. Get this started in a second. myself all right um anyways uh let's get into it all right cool so i think everything's working now all right. yeah cool all right so uh we're gonna make this a uh, little bit of a quick one i'm gonna go try to go over everything really quickly so if you're wanting to know what i'm talking about just watch like my previous videos because i say all of these things in these videos so i'll try to make this as quick as possible for who just like want to know like how good this character really is number one like you can do that right and that actually is a true combo um all right and now as far as like what i would before we get started so what kind of character is iron giant to, like that makes him like really good number one um he i think he's a character that can only be like s tier if you play him with the right team cop uh, and I think he becomes exponentially better depending on who you're playing with. Um, if you play him with a specific character, he's S+. Plus. If you play him with any other character that's not that character, he's like, like a, just S or S-. minus. Um, but when played properly, this character's got tier. Now, I would say he's a vertical character. I wouldn't say he's a horizontal character, even though he does have hate confirms. And I would say he's not a true combo character. Um, he's more of like a, I'll beat all of your movement with my really big frames that you can't get out of, even if you dodge it properly. And his delay game is really, really good because he can purposely delay things just to actually punish you. And that'll really like make someone like get annoyed and frustrated with the game. People just aren't like abusing it right. So first thing is first, right? So that, right, that can combo into itself to give you a little bit more damage there. Right. I don't know why it's not gonna let me do it, but right. So you can do that. Right now it's not comboing, but you can. Just trust me on that. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like my inputs have been giving me some trouble. There we go. You can like do that as well, or you can do the regular follow up. All right. So yeah, that combos. Uh, and this here, you can immediately cancel it. Right. And that's actually hella good. Um. You can do that with it. Uh, one quick way to get bolts is this, right? And always like animation cancel your bolts because it just makes it quicker and it makes it to where this is safe. Because a lot of like high elo players, they'll try to punish you while you're picking up those. So I'll always do this to just eat those really quickly. So that way I can do it and then get right back into my animations. Now that's a slow uh, example, but you can like animation cancel out of that to where you can get these to like happen really quickly and then like follow up or whatever and that'll help you out whenever it's like time to get into your stuff um i'm still not doing it properly like that right so that's hella hella good that's a really good way to get bolts really quickly i just did it again anyways you're supposed to like do it do this one do it pick do it pick and then like go into your move but i don't know i'm still like having trouble with my inputs today uh you can dodge out after you do it right so there's so much you can do with that anyways um this button here is your best button from neutral because it hits forward and behind and you can cancel out of it at any point in time that you want right so always uh do this move this is like one of your best moves uh whether you're in the air or on the ground you can cancel out of it you can also rise with it like that right and that'll make it to where you can send people early game really high up 
like this right animation cancel and then send them up even higher so like if you like do this properly uh, you can really 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 like uh, send someone exactly where you want them to be at really really nicely and since you can animation you can send them up like uh, wow my inputs right now Jesus you can directionally dash down and then do the same thing so like that's hella hella good Wow, wow. I do apologize in advance for the inputs. They're going to be chaotic right now. But yeah, just know like you can like do this or anytime you get a straight hit, you can just like lead them vertically upwards, right? Dodge down, get another one. Uh, just to kind of like 50-50 that, right? Because once you're in this animation, you're like really hard to like beat, right? You're just getting so much attack priority. And um, one thing that you can do as well is you can like uh, go into this and cancel it into that or you can like do it right do this move and then cancel it into that to kind of pressure people who are dodging right so you have a lot of follow-ups right just know that like that move is not bad at all like that for example um, that's really good or you can do this one and if that hits you can like combo this up into that right uh, one thing also that you have is this right Alright, so you can do that as well. Um, you can actually do that, like, hold on one second. Uh, this can combo. If you do it properly after the third hit, do this, do that, into that, and all of that can be a guaranteed combo if you time it properly. Uh, let's see if I, I'll try to get it at least once. Let's see. Up, oh, I can't time it properly. And you can kind of like just pseudo infinite people, right? With that. Uh, right. And as far as like um, this move, like, number one, that's a multi hitting move, right? So, like, if you get them in the air, you can like do that. And as long as they're like above like half of your, the upper half of your body, as long as they're not under the S. You're, you're getting uh you're getting hit by this attack right so the moment that they are like not above the um i mean not under the s like every like attack is going to hit with this move right so like on higher player di uh, i mean higher uh player health and you do this combo this can actually like hit really hard and it can actually kill right you see what i'm saying right that can kill uh, now one thing you can do if like you notice people are just like kind of uh if sometimes it'll be inconsistent online and it won't do this what it's doing right there sometimes it won't do that so what i do for that is i'll do this right to uh, get it myself uh since this move as well you can immediately cancel it right and that's why i say he's a vertical character because he's the only character that can like do that like off of hit or off of whiff and like so you can do it and then like immediately like di someone right and they just can't get out of it right so he's like the only character that can really kind of do that off of a whiff um that's really really strong uh same thing for this one so you can kind of like combo these up into each other right and that becomes really really nice so yeah um hella of a good aerial game right see what i'm saying like he can just kind of stay in the air and do his own thing really really nicely um now as far as this move this is one of his best moves uh I wouldn't use it uh, like wastefully unless you're like positioning it properly. So um, I'll give you like some examples of how good this move can be. Number one, this move can block projectiles uh, up to three. Uh, any projectile doesn't matter what it is, it'll block it. Uh, three of them. I don't care how much damage it does, it'll block three of them. Um, it's a really good button. That's kind of like a hidden property to it. But this is a really good button as well because if you do the move initially, this is your up one. If you do it initially, it'll just go like that, right? But if you hold it, notice how it'll give it more of an upward trajectory. So if you do it and you hold up, it'll do like that. But if you hold down after you do it, so it'll go straight down. Now, one thing that's cool is if you dodge, it'll actually make it to where, like, your hand, like, does this volley, right? But if you do the initial hit, the second hit, if you dodge backwards, it'll make it, like, go, like, behind you in a really good trajectory that can kind of like 50 50 people who will try to go above you now again how we just talked about how you can control the aim of it right so if you go down or if you go up so if you do this and you dodge like directionally up 
it'll go even higher up so what I'm doing is I'm uh, showcase my inputs here so I'll do my dodge right and then I'll go directionally up in the direction right and for if you go directionally down you can actually do the same thing and it'll go straight down it'll actually give it like a really fast like hit right so like you can use that as well so just know you can control this button to kind of uh, give you a good bit of options right and that can make it to where that's actually really scary to deal with so yeah um, that's really cool with this character um, that makes this like hella scary because you can do a lot of uh, uh, frame traps with that um, so yeah hella good button you gotta start abusing that um, and as for his movement like he can move really quickly right for his speed at least like for his for his body build you can move like how you want right um, so he's not a slow character and how I'm doing that again I'm just directionally down you can literally just spam it if you want but you have full control over this move one thing you can do is also do that right you can like dodge jump dodge oh, you can dodge jump dodge and then do your uh, four two right after that and you can always cancel this right right after so you can like kind of like pseudo uh, so you can like do this cancel do like that cancel you see what I'm saying like he has like abilities like his abilities like kind of help him move if you do it properly so uh, he can move around how he wants to he's not a, like a slow character if you have movement you can be good um, with the characters kit another thing that he has is if you're at 85 now this works on certain maps but if you're playing on bat cave if you're playing on either one of these maps if you're playing on this map or this map if you're playing not on this map but bat cave not bat cave uh, scooby doo Trophy's Edge and Sky Arena, you can actually kill at 85 with any character outside of another Iron Giant. Um, but I'll just showcase it here. By doing a really, really easy like hit confirm. So you grab someone, you bring them way over here. Let me just actually just put him on this side so that way I don't have to walk it out. This is this makes his edge guarding ability like really, 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 really nasty. Um, if you do this uh, with the proper timing, you can easily. Why did it go back to training room? That's weird. Anyways, maybe because I moved the player over. I'm guessing. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, um, if you have them on 85 or above, that this will be just a guaranteed hit confirm, right? Um, so you would grab them, move them as close as you could to the edge, and then you would do that right and it'll kill now your timing has to be like the same timing as a neutral button right so like you know how you can like neutral button right right like that you will have to do that same timing right uh, right here oh we'll get it we'll get it we'll get it it's a tragedy let me put them on dodge during it's done so that way see I'm not capping I'm holding uh, forward a little bit too much. There we go, right there, um, and that'll kill. Um, but again, the spacing for it has to be just right, like that. Let me just do this with Wonder Woman. In order for that to kill, like your spacing just has to be like pretty, pretty tight, like right there, right? Um, so yeah, just know like that actually kills. Uh, and that's really good. Another thing that you can do is you can like bring them here and the same thing here, right? You can do that uh, You could do that as well to kind of dunk people and you can make that safe by doing this You can do your bolts, right? So that makes it a guaranteed kill because most people like they're going to like dodge upwards Or they're gonna try to like dodge and punish you right or like just try to get out from bottom uh, the moment you send them that way, th that's their first thing that they're going to do, right? So, uh, you can kind of, like, make all of this safe just by doing that, right? Uh, so you can pop your boats preemptively to kind of, like, cover your gaps. Even though this is actually a guaranteed, like, combo. I'm just not timing it right. You would have to do it like this. Right, see how that's guaranteed? Uh, so it is, like, a guaranteed combo. I'm just not timing it right. So, yeah, um, just give me a second. 
anyways uh, we'll, we'll get it once we have to we have to get it at least once uh, I'm gonna try to hit this uh, Wow this is a tragedy there we go All right see what I'm saying like that'll kill and it can kill as early as 35 on every character in the game uh, just because that down two is a multi-hitting move right? so yeah and again you can make it safe or um, if you are wanting to let's say if you don't want to have to deal with like the harsh timing you can do your bolts as well to uh, kill um, now my boats in that case actually like I did it at the wrong timing so it actually made it to where that move uh, like stopped her from getting killed uh, but yeah just know you can do that move and then do that and follow up all the way down and you can make your boat safe while you're doing that. So yeah, hella good move. Uh, really, really good move. But however, your timing has to be really, really nice. Um, just know that. So yeah, um, if you like practice that, that could be hella good. And again, if you know someone's going to try to dodge out of it, you can always just pop your boats preemptively. And then like beam like that, right? Also, um, so let me just take her off and just put on recovery for a second. Right, you can do stuff like that, and so anytime like you have someone uh, low low ground, you just can simply just do this, right? And then that just kills. And you can do that as early as you want. If you hit someone, like they're just pretty much out of there. Uh, there's really like nothing that they can do against this. If that first move hits, that's like one of these most strongest like edge guarding abilities in the game, right? You can just you can nuke people and they can't get out of it, right? So if you get hit with this move down at the bottom, you're out of there. And like I said, you can make it safe just by popping your bolts, right? So you, that way you, like there's no follow up. Like even if they dodge it, since the sh uh, bolts itself gives you a shock wave, right? This is a shock wave and it interrupts like everything. So you can time it perfectly to like kind of like fill that gap of their dodge right so um that makes that move really really strong as well so yeah now i would always aim it directly like towards the as close to the wall as you possibly can like that right so yeah if you do it where it's like as close to the wall as you possibly can there's no way for them to get out of this like that that's what you that's what it should look like um and then you would do the move from there so yeah hella good move um, if you do it properly you can really uh, you can really kind of abuse the fact that you um, have like literally the strong some of the strongest edge guarding in the game that move is just really go to if you get the timing right uh, I'm not I haven't perfected my mechanics with the uh, iron giant yet but yes this actually can kill hella early um, yeah and there's no like gap in between this right see what I'm saying like, you can't get out of that so yeah um, hella good move now let's talk about like some of his edge guarding games so let me go ahead and make this recovery as well uh, not edge guarding game actually let's do that so if you grab someone right you can obviously just do this you can finish and that'll send them upward that'll kill at like uh, sometimes 75 it depends on the map uh, but if you aim it like properly um, you'll you can kill it like 75 or above. You can actually use this to 50/50 sometimes. I just put it on 75. It's certain characters at 75. Certain characters it's like uh, certain characters. It's, I think it's like 85. But yeah. So yeah, it depends on whenever you do the follow up though, like to make it hit like that, right? You have to do the two hit and then do the move. So just know like like the amount of these that you get, right? That'll determine just how much damage it does. So you can do it after the three hit. But the three hit can be inconsistent sometimes. That was the input error. The three hit can be inconsistent sometimes. See like that. So I always do it after the two hit. Um, because it's more consistent. Now, you can actually like use it as a way to bait people. So like you can do this and like uh, do all of this. And then bait like that, or you can do this as well. 
and then bait their dodge, right? And remember how I said like you can do this move and then like do that as well, right? So like you can use that to kind of du double up on the fact that like you can like get that out of there. So if you like kind of delay your follow-ups, right, like that, right? And it'll send like that. Um, and again, if you know like they're just gonna dodge, right? You can throw it backwards if you want, or you can just throw it uh, downward like this at that downward trajectory, right? So um, that's actually hella good. And if there's ever a situation where you have like two people there and you're wanting to, for some reason, like do this, you can do that as well and then send that there, right? So you can hit here and then do like that, right? So like there's like so much uh, tech guarding, like ability that you have like you can just send that flying so just know you can use like all of this area depending on where the opponent is like that to kind of also um kill someone like that's down there as well so that's hella good um also you can do this right and then do this and then also like kind of 50 50 i that was an input error you can 50 50 with this as well i just did it again wow basically i'm trying to do this that and that'll actually 50 50 quite a lot it'll beat a lot of frames in the game uh whether they do it or they don't do it right that's really really good especially whenever they're higher health uh the higher the health the easier that becomes right there right remember that move sends naturally and uh the good thing about this move is you can always follow it up with another a button like really quickly so you actually have like hella 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 good edge guarding abilities so like once you grab someone you can just kind of like play with your food you can always do that as well remember how i said like this move like you can do it and immediately cancel out of it so you can like grab them shoot them this way do that and then punish right th like that right so um there's so much that you can do with like having someone on the edge you can also like wait and then spike right uh like literally his delay game it's like you little okay i get you here press a button punish right and there's really like they're kind of just stuck right here right wait see you're just kind of stuck whenever he gets you to the edge it's really like nothing that you can do to kind of get out of it like, you can even like try to go high he can do that right you, you literally read player inputs always delay like you can literally just do this as a setup what you're gonna do right That was actually a tragedy. I was actually going to uh, convoy him up. Uh, so like you can do this as well and lead someone upwards like after you get it. So like you can do this as well. And try to keep them like in that middle frame and carry them to the edge of the map. Uh, I'll, I'll showcase that a little bit better. So you can like do this and then carry them middle frame, cancel it and then get another one. And that'll like sin like hella. The goal is to keep them onto the right side of your head wherever you are, right? See what I'm saying? So if you like don't keep him like around where you're like your head is, then you don't get all the hits, right? So yeah, um, that can kill as early as 56 if you do it properly. Um, so your dodges have to be like uh, properly spaced to get this to work how you want it to, right? So yeah, just know like that's actually something that can kill. I'm just not like timing it properly. Like that, right? So that's hella, hella good. Um, but the way that you would uh, do it is just, again, try to get them as close as you can to... Uh, like that, yeah. So that's hella, hella good. Like, again, these are all, like, really easy, like, corner carry, like, moves. And that can kill really early. Again, I believe it's at, as soon as, like, 56. Uh, and the way that you do it is you just do upward diagonal. To the right or whichever way your legs are going so if you're going this way upward though and then you fly in that direction and your goal is to keep them right above like the side of where your ear is wherever your ear is you want them to be like to the right side of your head no matter where you are and that's just like a really 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 easy easy hill and it just keeps going right so yeah um hella hella good edge guarding ability uh 
right? See what I'm saying? Like, that's just God tier. And no one's doing that. Literally, I don't know a single Iron Giant that's doing that outside of me, right? See what I'm saying? Like, you can just kill so quickly with that. And remember how I said, like, that's a move where, like, if you do it, you can always, like, cancel it into, uh, um... Like, no matter where you are in that hit, you can cancel it, right? So, you can do this. Oh, it wasn't going to let me cancel. Uh, I just timed it wrong. You can do the move, fly, and then cancel, and then go into another up one if it doesn't kill. To kind of like, uh, okay, you dodged, like, the last hit or whatever, or it didn't kill. You can, like, do that hit right there, and you can kill like that as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a hella good move. People just have not been abusing like how good this move is. Like you can do that, you can do that, you can charge, you can do a lot. Now, this move here has an initial frame, right? You can do that to, into that, right? So like if you're right above somebody, you can do this. Oh, that's a tragedy. You can do this. That's a tragedy as well. You can do that. Or you can do that also into this into that right and then into an up one if you want there's like you can actually use this kind of combo like that as well or you can just do the easier one which is this right and that's like a really really quick uh early kill so that's hella hella good again carry them if you want it to um there's so much that you can do with this move off of like hit you can do that as well. Again, anytime you're in the air, you can counter, you can uh, use this to kind of uh, get a quick one. Because sometimes it won't, uh, sometimes like the player like DI, like you won't be able to hit, right? Like sometimes they'll be like not in position so you can auto correct it to where this becomes super scary. See what I'm saying? Like if that didn't kill, you can kind of like mess with play like he's one of the best like characters in the game as far as like reading player di because once they're full sin like there's really like there's nothing they can do to kind of get out of that right like you just wait because you can hover in the air right just hover wait and then punish right <laughs> and then it just sins so um that's actually hella god tier right you can also do that as well just to kind of send them edge and once they're edge you can like kind of wait all right cool do that and if they don't, right, follow up, then you can just always, like, use this to get back to the ground and then cancel out last minute. Now, you can actually get a guaranteed combo from this. It works at all levels. Uh, the easiest one to hit would be this one. That one, right? Uh, there's so many more combos other than that, though. But I like doing this one just because it gives you the, uh, that's a tragedy. It'll give you this fire. That fire is really nice because it actually, like, I think from neutral, like, if they had zero health, uh, I think it'll do somewhere up to, like, 50 damage, uh, even though technically it's, like, not really that. So, like, for example, if you do this combo uh, into that, hold on, let's see if I'll, I'll try to hit it once. This is actually, like, pretty hard to hit. I'm not going to cap. Uh, your spacing has to be perfect. Yeah, I'm not gonna do. It. I'm not gonna do all that. We'll just do the easier one. All right. So let's say that connected, right? Then you would do this uh, into your up two, right? So yeah, that can all actually land, and that's actually a really nice combo. It's not too bad, all right? And it'll be somewhere up to like uh, it'll say like like 38 or something like that. But whenever you like get all of the hits, it'll actually. Uh, like end up to being somewhere around like uh like 40 45 ish 40 whatever but if you do that up to right after that it there's really like no counterplay to that right no matter where you move you can just chase because remember you can do the initial hit and then like chase you like your dodge right so you're just out of there and again as you can see like you just you get so much damage from it so that's a really easy uh follow up i'm not gonna say an easy follow up but if you if you get your timing properly uh right you can just kind of do that right and then literally reset it So yeah, hella good character. See what I'm saying? Like if you abuse all of that, um, really, really cool showcase. Um, you can always like cancel this move, right? You don't ever have to follow it up. You can actually do it and then do like that if you wanted to send them sideways, right? Or you can do the move like this. 
Oh, that's a tragedy. I hate that platform, man. That platform's not my friend right now. And then do that same thing that I told you about there, right? And that's just easy hit confirms, right? So that's another way to do it. Uh, and again, you get that fire buff from it. So yeah, um, just send them where you want and then like match their DI, right? So uh, as far as like last thing I'm gonna talk about, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. If you're on the bottom, you can do this, right? This will always, always, always beat every option, every option of anyone who's right here anywhere in this space it'll beat every option the only way to beat that hitbox is to be on this right side of them because that's where the hitbox is the weakest this hitbox will go hit the terrain before his head is even like able to be up so like anyone who's like edge guarding you do this and it's an automatic like you get that you have to hold that right remember how i said like this move you can do it animation cancel and do that whatever and it gives you a little bit of speed boost going up right so you can do that and you're just safe right or you can do it right top your bolts and then now you can actually use them to punish like you can use their aggression to punish them he's one of the strongest not one of he's the strongest abari character in this game like i feel like sonic fox would actually love this character uh, but that's just me because sonic fox is god tier at abari but anyways um yeah so also whenever you're down at the bottom you can do this move as well it'll send you up and it'll hit really really good you can actually like do this to kind of hit like really far away and again you can always cancel out of it whenever you want right and you can follow it up into that so you have two really good hitboxes that hit vertically and they have like a hitbox that's really high that can allow for your character to really really dominate uh like this game and getting back up not only that whenever he's way out here let's say you burn all of your fuel you have no fuel you can like use this like crazy and i have no fuel right to just stall until you get back to the ground right and you can do that with this one as well you're up to so, so you burnt all your dodges right just use this you can always get back to the ground always so yeah um just know you can hella stall with this right and it costs you nothing right so you can literally just stay out here as much as you want use a little bit of fuel and it'll cost you nothing right until you touch right and you can always like i'll always save my specials because i use my specials to kind of get up right i use my specials to kind of get up out and hold an active frame now whenever i'm coming back i'm coming back with this most likely because that's just a really good button because you can cancel anytime you want right to kind of get out if they if you know they're going to try to punish so he has really good recovery like probably some of the best recovery in the game right because you can just literally just do this and it costs you nothing See, that's going to cost you something, right? And you can just, like, wait it out. Get back to the bottom. Right? Go go out way out here. Right? Get back up. Right? And then, like, charge. Like, to get yourself out. Right? And that's without me using any dodge. Right? So, he can really, like, delay himself. Like, crazy. And, again, while you're, like, out here, anytime someone tries to come, like, from above you, that is always going to beat. Always. This is always beats. It's a really good button. And you can just animation cancel out of it. Right? Hella good. Um, so yeah, that is a really good thing as well. So his recovery game is really, really nice. This will allow for you to get two bolts really quickly. Um, if you max space it, that's a tragedy. And always, whenever you're eating, right, always do this and then cancel the move right after. Uh, so that way you can, uh, kind of like get a dodge in between eat and then cancel the animation for eating so that way you can like do this right and then get right back into your attacks really really quickly um that's god tier and if you get two of them i still like i haven't gotten this where i wanted it but that's pretty much what it would look like um so yeah um that's really good now let's talk about like how to like what how you can make this even more powerful well number one if someone is attacking you in the game you can interrupt it with this so i always use this as a way to like if someone's actually comboing me up or if they're uh let's say again uh uh let's use uh let's use aria since she the bots like really do nice against when it comes to hit sun right so let's say aria's doing her combo junk right you can do that and like punish them kill them for touching you right see what i'm saying like I'm, this is in hit stun, right? And it interrupts, right? So you can literally just do this. Grab. 
Oh, you wanted to get a combo, right? And now you're look at how far you can send someone for hitting you, and that's guaranteed. There's no getting out of that, right? Like, okay, yeah, you want to get, you want to do stuff, right? Now, um, another thing that you can do is you can uh, do this one as well. Uh, one second, one second. You can do that one. That's kind of a universal one, and you can follow that up with. Uh, hold on, one second. You can follow it up with that as well. Follow it up with that. And um, there are so many, like I use this all the time for uh, for like people who are on me. Like, you can literally just use it, pop it, and then do this immediately. I'll actually showcase that one because that's low key the best one. I'll, so I'll just do grabs a lot just because I know grab gives me like easy, easy kill confirms that I can like literally like end people's lives, right? You can do that as well. Um, right, and that'll do the same thing, right? So you can do that since it sends up just enough, right? And then now you have someone way out there. So yeah, um, since the the blast itself sends people like vertically, horizontally upward, so it's like upward at a diagonal. If you do this move, it'll almost always combo into that, right? And remember, this move is your best move for, like, killing people if you know how to, like, position it properly, right? So, yeah, um, you can literally, like, edge, like, I'm, like, that was at zero head, and you guys saw just how, like, how high, like, I was able to send, like, her. If you combo this up with the right teammate, it's GG. So, um, again, if someone's ganking you or someone's on you, just pop this move while you're in hit stun or while they're comboing you up and you can literally like get a guaranteed combo for them hitting you and you can kill hella early with this character so that's god tier um you can also use it to help your teammate for example if your teammate is uh getting ganked you can get over there right and then do it pop it right and you can pop it like preemptively you can make uh so one thing I like about him is you can kind of play a little bit of a like, for example these buttons are not good buttons right in neutral right or like th this button is not a good button if you whiff right if you whiff this you're kind of stuck there for a while so i actually purposely sometimes throw these out because i know people are like okay he's stuck or i'll purposely throw this out because people will be like oh why oh wow he's gonna be stuck he can't move for like a good minute right so i'll do this so that way i'll pop my bullets and then i'll punish with this and then that'll allow for me to get this to where i can send right uh so i'll purposely put myself in a bad situation to pop my boats and punish them for trying to punish me that's an abare situation right so um i love iron giant because he can do that so i'll sometimes i'll purposely do this literally i'll do be like whiffing it and then so that way they'll want to be aggressive and i'll just read their uh dodge and then i'll reach their next attack and then i'll punish right so yeah that's hella hella good so now as far as like perks that work really good with him i would use everything cooldown because without his bolts he can really start to get weak and if you want this character to be s tier you have to run cooldown ability so if you're going to get the zoning character absorb and go that's this perk right here you have to use that uh that'll help you out every time they hit you if you stack it with your teammate you can get 15 percent off both of you uh offer your cooldown just for getting hit by a projectile so that way you just like, okay, I don't really want to dodge projectiles now because they help me out. Um, I don't care how much damage a projectile is going to do. This is a great perk. Um, and if, especially if you're like getting hit by like multiple projectiles, like a Tom and Jerry, let's say if he's like sent multiple. Yeah, that that can be got here. I dodge, you dodge, we dodge is his best perk because you're going to have to dodge with an Iron Giant anyway. This perk makes it to where every time you dodge, if you stack it, you get 15% off and if everything it works for you and your teammate. So if you're playing with a teammate and they dodge, you just got 15% off of your cooldown. So if both of you dodge twice in like 10 seconds, that's 30% off of your cooldown. This is the best perk in the game for this character and for any cooldown character, really. It's the most slept on ability. And then I'll take that. This is why I play with, uh, I'll talk about his team comp in a second. I always run this if you're playing with a character that can put debuffs because this really, really helps. And then CoffeeZilla is just a flat out one but coffeezilla is the weakest of them all so like my preferred loadout if i was going against a zoner i would run these three and then i would tell my teammate to stack these three um and if i wasn't going against a zoner then i would just replace the absorb and go with coffeezilla um i don't run any damage perks just because you don't really need them and his best one is afterburners because that gives you that little damage boost there um <clears throat> now who he works best with number one if you play this character in the team comp in twos with velma he's got here He's S plus. He's actually like so hard to beat. People just are not playing the character properly. So with the Velma, 
who can put her cooldown duration. I'll actually showcase this for a second. Hold on one second, let me actually do this since we don't have a sonar on. Just give me one second, not to start for how much. This was supposed to be a quicker video, but it seems like it's going to be long as well. So we're just kind of letting it do what it do. <laughs> right. So, pop bolts, right? By the time the bolts are done, you'll have another one right back, right? Now... Look at how fast that cooldown for her ability is going, right? Because she popped it, like, like normally the cooldown for that is really high, but since she gets it as well, it's really not, like, that bad. Now, every time she pops this, right, see how fast that's going back, right? And then anytime I dodge an attack in between that, right, I'm just automatically going to get, like, uh... Like so much more, uh, so much more like 15% or sometimes 30% depending on how many you dodge. Uh, you can kind of buff that in between that gap, right? And again, if she puts a debuff, one second taken off, 0.5 seconds taken off. If you get hit by a projectile and you have absorb and go, that's 15, like taken off of both of your cooldowns. So that a cooldown she has right now can get back as quick the quickest that i've ever seen it come back is like in five seconds and that's because me and my team we were playing hella good and we were going against his owner so one like i dodged and then he got hit and that was automatically 30 percent off and that was while she already had the cooldown duration and then right after that i had dodged another attack because his teammate hit me and then that allowed for us to basically like get our cooldowns instantly and i had boats like right after that again so it can be really really good but another reason why it's really good is because it actually makes it to where your bolts themselves, like, you get these quicker, right? So you can just immediately pop that, and now you have, like, two, right? See what I'm saying? Now you have three. See how fast that is charging? See how fast you can get those bolts to regenerate? So that means you don't even have to, like, worry about actually having to pop a bolt, right? You don't have to, like, actually do this, right? Just because you're getting one naturally just from her popping that ability. That alone, combined with these cooldowns, um, makes her the best character for iron giant because he can actually like be in his boat pretty much like maybe 70 or 60 percent of the time or 50 percent let's say 50 percent um which makes him so hard to beat because remember if you get a combo if somebody combos you up you can immediately just do your up to diagonal in the re direction you want them to go and kill right so velma and them that's actually a meta that's like hidden people are not doing that the next up i'll say was ryan dog just because again if you run the cooldown perks and he can kind of zone people out really well and he has a lot of projectiles that can take up a lot of areas so you can keep people off for your iron giant and at the same time you can kind of like get lost in like ganking iron giant and you ignore ryan dog which allows for him to set up his crystals and stuff like that and if he gets that debuff or that buff with this uh elect uh, uh shock whatever that can be really good and also the tether that allows for iron giant to stay alive a lot lot longer and since the tether is going to be coming back really really fast due to the perks that you're using uh you can actually have like it up like pretty much every seven seconds and for a character that can survive so much you can pretty much just like immediately just iron giant becomes like a really big tank so these are like his two best like team comps right and then after that i would say it would be battering because uh, batman because he has the battering that can up apply that weekend and i'll take that i'll help him out and batman can cover a lot of distance and he's really good at like getting to a spot really quickly and i can help save him that's also like he can do his smoke he can do uh his uh like his battering to kind of get people off of iron giant and like he's just a really good character for the fact that he can control so much neutral so iron giant with batman is good as well but I would say his third best. So first Velma, then Ryan, then I would say it's actually Wonder Woman after that because of the armor, the cooldowns. If you play it right, the lasso, you can pull your teammate in or you can go meet him. Um, there's so much that you can do with her ability. And you, if you ignore Wonder Woman because you're ganking an Iron Giant, you're in trouble because Wonder Woman can disrupt like crazy. So if I had to order it, it will be Velma, Ryan Dog, Wonder Woman, Batman, Shaggy, and then Tom and Jerry. Those are like his best team comps. That's who he works with. Whenever you play him with these two, he's S 
this is s plus whenever you pair them together it will be s if you pair them together so be s minus if you pair them together s minus if you pair them together this will be like just s uh, I mean as uh, this will be a um, just because a lot of people don't know how to play shaggy right um, I'll showcase something here really quick um, so a lot of people don't know that you can do this hold on you can actually save stacks right so um, anytime you do this move you can like I don't know why I keep doing that it's a tragedy you can charge it dodge charge it dodge charge it right and you can like kind of like save that sack. So let's say you're in it. Oh, somebody's about to hit me. You can do that and you get a quick one, right? So you can like do it and dodge and do it. Now this is I don't know if this is a bug or if this was intended, but that's actually hella guard because you're not just standing there like this and just charging, right? And then dodging after you know the hit's over. So like I don't know if that was meant to be in the game or what, but uh yeah. Whatever it was, like this is now like hella easy to do. Hella easy to pop whenever you're abusing that attack, right? So yeah, um, that's God tier. That's why I say Hangry Man is the best one, because you can do that technically still without using it. You can do it with one less zoinks, but it just takes longer, right? See what I'm saying? So, um, see what I'm saying? Like you still get it quick, but I don't know. I would rather have it with one less zoinks, just so that way, like that's you. You can tell that that's a little bit longer. So. I use Hangry Man just for the fact that I can make that happen, but it also works with one last zoinks. Uh, and the way that I'm doing that is I'm uh, doing the move, and then you can move. You can stop it and then move, or you can stop it and then dodge. All right, so you can literally just do it, stop it. So you do it right there, and the moment you let it go, you can do it. So like you can even do it like that as well. See, you're just saving stacks, right? So people don't know that you can do that. You don't always have to just fully charge it. You actually can save those stacks and then dodge out. So that if you're playing Shaggy like that, then he becomes go out here because then Iron Giant can kind of have enraged a lot much more. And if he applies weaken, all of his stuff sends, and then you can kill as early as like 15 if you put on a stack of weaken with your first ability. So let's say like uh, Shaggy gave you enraged. So let me let me showcase. Let me give you a showcase. Uh, and then we'll call this video in because it's getting pretty long and I didn't want this to be long. Um, so let's make him do his special neutral and then we'll put her on 15. All right. All right. Oh shoot, he did the move again. That's a tragedy. Um, let's move him. Uh, let's move him over here. I want him to be as far away as possible because I don't want him to like interrupt this. I want to show you like how just how much like this can actually like do for you. That's a tragedy. I think it's gonna start lagging now. Hopefully not. All right, so you grab him. See what I'm saying? You can kill just from having one of those on, right? So, um, you pair that with the Shaggy and then your character just becomes exponentially like so much better because again you get one grab and it's pretty much GG's on any character at any level um watch, I'll even like I'll well, I'm not gonna show okay so yeah just know if you pair a Shag and that's why I say he works really well with Batarang or anyone who can apply that weaken cause he can just send right and he can just immediately just once he gets a grab it's over with or if he hits you with anything you're just sent so yeah, um, he can kill really early when paired with characters who can apply weaken. So yeah, I would actually, I would say one to one to one man. Uh, no, I'll keep him there because a lot of people don't play him right. So yeah, we'll we'll keep that there. Velma, Ryan, one to one man, Batman, Shaggy, and then Tom and Jerry. Um, so yeah, that's everything that I wanted to talk about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just know these buttons are his best buttons in the air, right? So you can do that, cancel it do that right he's just he's a really good character he's a vertical character um even though he can technically kill horizontally really quickly as well i just wouldn't say he's a horizontal character um but yeah once you like master his movement and once you know like what to look for iron giant can become one of the scariest characters in this game and in twos whenever paired properly with the right team comp he can immediately just be so god tier so so god tier um So yeah, um, 
That's Iron Giant for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is Jay Chaos. Peace out.